Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, we're getting ready to go out fishing right now. Uh, excuse this messy ass garage. Uh, I lost my keys the other day, so uh, I tore apart this whole garage looking for them. And guess what? They weren't even in the garage. But it's all good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this tackle out, and then I am going to create like a little. Um, little pond hopping bag my boat still in the shop i don't know when i'm gonna get that sucker back there's a crack in the hole so we were waiting on express to get back to us to let us know what they're going to do they may have to ship that thing up to arkansas to weld it up i don't know why they can't just get like a, a local welder here and get it welded up um i probably should just welded it my or got somebody welded like on my own but then i would avoid it the whole warranty and all that stupid shit so i don't know man hopefully um we get that thing fixed all right, so uh, let's get you guys around my neck and uh, let's get this uh, freaking little tackle box built, all right? So I'm gonna take this with me in here. I know I'm not really gonna use any hard plastics, probably, because there's just no reason to use, or any hard bits right now. All right. I know I got every, all kinds of stuff everywhere. Um, gear bugs. These are like a little terminal tackle. All my hooks and stuff are right in here. I need to organize that. It's a lot of empty packages like I could probably throw away. Tokyo rigs, some little offset arm hooks. There's a frog up in here. Um, yeah, so we'll take this. I do have a spook. These are a bunch of contender, Guggen contenders that I have. So I'll throw these in the truck. But essentially what I want to do is get this bag that I have right here. Let's kind of get it where... I wonder if it's small enough. This, nah, it's not gonna fit in there. Right, let's throw these hooks in here. I know I got oh, some tungsten weights right in there. We'll throw those in this pocket. I got this fucking, there we go, there's some more right there. Some Guggen, this is the Guggen tungstens. What am I looking for particularly? I don't know what I am looking for. I'll need these for some Nico rigs. Some more tungsten. I like I've been using a lot of tungsten lately. I don't necessarily need the heavy. All that heavy stuff. What else is there? It's three quarter ounce. That's probably an ounce. Yeah, I don't need those. Those are for like that's gonna be for like my punching and stuff. I got so many soft plastics. We will throw some bandito bugs in there. Can't go wrong with it. Dude, those things are all jacked up or whatever. But the big thing is my buddy. dude I freaking served in Iraq with all right he has his own little bait company called Walker and daughter bait company so check him out especially on uh, TikTok. and I believe he has an Instagram channel man look at that got some little curly tails right there got some uh, good little freaking little crawls right here good for pitching he has all kinds of stuff man like he just like those is what I've been using for like Nico rigs lately. These little worms right here. Bro. Amazing. Alright. It's called Walker Daughter Bait Company. So we're trying to get after it. Like, dude, these things. Look at the color of these. Gosh, I'll pull this out. Look at that. That crawl right there. It's like a perfect little J trailer right there you can fish that texas rig too and i guarantee you you can get bit pretty sexy man 
these flukes too. I've been, I was throwing a couple of these flukes the other day and I was catching some. Various colors, man. I don't know why I need to have a piece of chalk and ask my kids. <laughs> but yeah. I think the main things I'm gonna fish with today might be that stuff. Just to have them in there, you know? I don't really necessarily need that today. I'll throw that in there, that might be good. It's kind of a, uh, see these toads, bro. Oh yeah, I wanna fish with these toads. Look at these toads. Just Texas rig that, dude. Swim it through the water. Are they kick. Yeah, I'm throwing those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a setup for those today. Throw those maybe closer to the evening. All right, so I'm gonna throw this stuff in there. I'm gonna keep throw this in the truck, so I can park pretty close there. So if I need something, I can always just get up and grab it. Bunch of camera stuff. All right, can't forget these rods. So I'm gonna take this. All right, this is just has some six pound on there, but I'm probably gonna switch this out into something else. I know it's not really healthy for the rod tip like that, but it'll buff. I don't know if I'm gonna take, I should take at least a bait cast. Open this up so I can get the bait cast rods to get through. I know I gotta rig up one of them. Ugh. There's that. I get with the Shimano SLX rod with the uh, Corrado. Keep it in the familia. I just like the way this thing feels. Ah, nice, good rod right there. I don't need a whole bunch. I'm probably gonna mainly be fishing with the spinner. I'll probably use that for the toad. Um. <laughs> Ah, right, dang it. Oh, here we go. That's probably all I need is just a few rods. Look at that. I got a rooster tail on this. This is actually a uh, fishing reel I got off the TikTok shop as a sample. So this is me my first time testing it out. It's a 1000 series. I don't need it very far. I got a rooster tail on this. I'm probably going to catch some fish off the rooster tail if I'm going to be honest. So we'll toss that puppy in there. Throw that there, throw you there, grab you, grab the truck keys. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. Maybe I'll grab these soft plastics. Dude, I got so much soft plastics, it's ridiculous. Ooh, I know what I do need, especially if I'm gonna throw a Nico rig. I need you, bubba. Can't forget you, buddy. Buddy, old pal, you, you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, I'll toss you in the bag so I can't lose you. Dude, I'm so unorganized. Alright. These Beyond Braid, man. Alright, these are the Beyond Braid. Freaking pliers, they're aluminum, dude. I let these things out in the boat for like a week. After using them in salt water, no rust, even a sign of rust. Still nice and springy. This, these things are still sharp as hell. I didn't leave these out in the water or in the elements. But yeah, these Beyond Braid freaking scissors right here. Best freaking braided scissor line shears on the market, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. I mean, what do I know, you know? I'm just a freaking wannabe fishing influencer. I think that might be all we need. Sorry about the messy garage, messy truck. My life's a mess. All right, let's get in here. Yo, we are here. All right, first thing first, let's get this rigged. This rod's been good to me, dude. I've used and abused this rod. Saltwater fishing, bass fishing. I reeled in a couple cats off this thing unintentionally, but still good rod, man. SLX, Shimano SLX rods. 
big fan of them. Alright, let's go. Wish I had a, lo a little bit bigger of a hook, but this will work. I like the uni knot, it's just quick. For me, I'm just fast at it. I don't need a whole bunch just now. If I catch a fucking fish that's gonna break that knot, then, uh. That's gonna be my fault. Text was there. It floats pretty good. I've had a lot of issues where a lot of them sinking on me right away. And they're just like way too heavy. I think this is my favorite freaking toad. I'm barely reeling it in. This ain't like a, I mean, it's a 7.5, no, 7.4 reel. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of quick, but it's not like my other swim bait rod, which is like an 8.5. Drop you. Just grab some essential stuff, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna go out over here. This pond's good, man. It's just like you can only get so far in there, and then it just you don't have enough room to really cast out once you walk these edges up here. And it's just very lots of debris and stuff, which is good. A lot of cover stuff for bass. I want to get a kayak. I don't have a kayak. If I can get like my buddy, or a buddy, the lo lonely one or something, I want to get out there and fish that side of it, all the far side and all this. I've really only been fishing right here. I mean, I catch fish, you know what I mean? But then you got to cross this little right here. I don't know, like a beaver did this or what, but it always trips me out, man. It's like fucking cotton mouth zone right here. Just clear, clear, clear. Don't bite me, no snakes. Ah. All right, we good. All right. I've seen some big snakes out here too, man. All right, we're gonna throw you right there for right now. Let's see if we can get up on this with this rooster tail. All right, let's see how this new, this can be the first cast with this reel. Small baits do wonders out in this little pond. First cast. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It gets like... I don't know. But it's off TikTok shop. It's a 13 bearing freaking reel. Um, so far it's been... It's pretty high quality. I mean, it's all... I think, I believe it's an aluminum frame. Like, that's the only thing that sucks about these light tackle. It's like it's very sensitive, so you can get tangled up pretty easily. Need a little bit more weight, but it's all good. It's not the best rod. I should have thrown my ugly stick or thrown this on my ugly stick. I need to give me like an ultralight rod though. I got the essentially for ultralight setup shit, like rooster tails and stuff like that. I got some 10 pound fluoro onto some braid, so it's a oh yeah, that's not bad. You throw some some meat into it. It's really just because it's a light lure, man. It's a small rooster tail. I will say though, not having my boat on hand right now does suck but fishing with lighter tackle makes catching some of these smaller fish a little bit more fun hopefully we get a couple fish to bite man I just don't want to get caught up on any of this shit right here that's the only reason 
I think I stand right here. I can probably pull it up without getting too stuck. Ooh, big jump right there. I gotta throw some top water. Maybe it's slow than that. Got some grass. Once I know, once I see that flash stop moving, it's like, I know I got some grass. Oh, got one. Small fish. Oh, no, I don't know. Woo! Yeah, it's a small little bass. Look at that. Tiny little bass. I told you we'd get them. These rooster tails, man. We'll do it. You're a tiny little guy, man. Yeah. It's good, man. It's still fun to get out here and get some fish. You know? I appreciate you biting. Y'all have a good one, buddy. Boop. At least I can get up still catch some fish, man. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Be grateful for the opportunities that you have. Super smooth. Yeah, they're jumping right there. Had a bite, man, but I let it. I didn't set that hook. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's on. Another little bass. Oh, -ho! bro, that thing, dude. I've seen freaking bluegill bigger than that. It's a young bass, man. Young. It's okay. Oh, he got yourself out. Let's get you in the water, buddy. Here, let's hook that so we don't. No. Tiny little dude, man. I could probably throw him on a hook and catch a bigger bass. Of course, I dropped him again. I could throw him on a hook and catch a bass. I guarantee it. Good luck. Don't get eaten. It's a bassy bass world. Ooh, I just had one. Ooh, probably a little bluegill or something. I'll take a bluegill. If I catch a bluegill... I'm throwing it in my little bait box, throwing the aerator on, put some water, and uh, I'm saving them. It's my goal. Use them for catfish bait, you know? Come on, buddy. I'm going to get you off, bro. I'm just trying not to get my finger cut. He's like, what do you mean you throw your finger cut? You just caught me in my mouth, bro. That's fucked up. I'm going to get you right in your tongue, too. The bottom is gills. Let's see. I might need the pliers for you. Oh, nope, got it out. Can you get in? No, he got out. He's swimming. It's hard to hold on to the small ones. Alright, that's three. Three fish with the rooster tail. I think it's time switch it to the Nico rig. See if we can get up some of these soft plastics that my buddy gave me. I was getting bites with them the other day. So it took you there so we don't get tangled up. Let's try open up the bag. How should I do it? Should I do it with one of these curly tail? Or should I go with one of these? Hmm. Any mini money mo? I don't know what to pick. Hmm. Let's go curly tail. Let's see if I can get through here without getting freaking murdered by a, a snake. When you up right there, boy. Oh. Let's grab you out. You wheel us again. Untangle you up there soon, good son. Let's uh, untangle myself. Let's get where I'm not gonna. You gotta keep it a little tight right here, man. I got a lot of casting zone. Nico rigs will do it, my boy. I got a spook in there too. I'm thinking about getting a spook going where it's a little bit more open, kind of where I was. Might need to walk up a little further. Get some slack out. Ooh, big bass right there. 
wonder if I can get in right there. I may have to like almost fish this a little bit faster. I might throw that fucking frog out that way. If I'm to be honest, that frog or that bass didn't look that impressive, but. Closer I go. That should be clear. It's not exactly how I wanted, but I'll refine the way I cast it. Still doing its job how it needs to be, so. Should I do a little fan cast? Kind of ripped it out. There you go. It's a good cast. Clean it off a little bit. Try to get it over here without getting it in that tree. There you go. That's where I wanted it. I feel like this thing can get blown up any moment. Especially going over all that gunk right there. Oh, got one. Ooh, that's a decent one too. This is better than the ones I've been catching. Off the toad too. Yeah, it's the biggest one so far today, man. Off the uh, Walker Daughter and Company freaking toad, man. Ate that thing. Hooked him around the top of the freaking jaw, too. Come on, dude. I'm just trying to get you out. Yeah, that was a good hook. Alright, guys. Hey, that's it for the day. Um, we just went out here, quick little fishing trip. We pulled in four, three on the Reese Tail, one on the uh, the Walker and Daughter uh, freaking uh, soft plastic toad. So make sure you guys freaking uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out. Comment below if you guys uh, even like fish Reese Tails on these ponds, or something like that. You know, even catch some small little bass is, is pretty pretty fun. You know, especially when uh, my boat's down, man. That's all I got. I got to kick it old school. Like back in the day before I had any uh, sort of watercraft. See you guys on the next video.